السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning everyone Today inshallah I will teach you super goal 3 for the second intermediate grade in the first semester Okay my lovely students I want all of you to open your book on page 67 67 Today inshallah we will take a listening for listening Listen to what is wrong with the person. Look here, we have here some people, right? We have a one, two, three, four, five. So we will listen to them and we will put the numbers and what they, how, what do they have? So, okay, my lovely students. Now I will turn on the audio. So I want you to listen and to complete these pictures. Seven, four, listening. Listen to what is wrong with the person. Write the number next to the correct photo. Write the name of the illness next to the number. One, I moved to a new apartment yesterday. I carried boxes, suitcases, and bags all day. I was really tired last night, but I felt okay. Today my whole body hurts, especially my back. 2. I went to a seafood restaurant last night. I ate lots of fried shrimp and calamari, rice and salad, and ice cream for dessert. I'm not feeling very well today. 3. I'm really very happy today because my volleyball team won the game last night. I'm the captain of the team and I shouted a lot. Now I can't talk. 4. I can't resist candy, chocolates, and other sweets. I love soda, too. I don't brush my teeth very often. Now I have problems with my teeth. 5. I was inside that plane for six hours with people sneezing and coughing all around me. What do you expect? Today I have a temperature and I'm feeling awful. Okay, my lovely students, let's now move to the next page here. Okay, then we will take a here conversation. Look what do we have a here? Conversation. We have a here two pictures. Picture number one and number two. So he is eating. Look, there are many different dishes, right? So he is eating. So how many characters do we have? Very good. We have a Omar and Pet. Very good. And we have a here blue words, right? Or blue phrases. And we have a here a yellow box. So we will read first of all. Then we will explain these phrases with their meanings. So are you ready? Very good. So now I will turn on the audio. I want you to listen and follow. Read along as you listen. So let's start. Page 68. 6. Conversation. Hi, bud. What's the matter? You don't look well. Man, I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache and I feel like vomiting. You should see a doctor. I just did. He gave me a prescription for some medicine and said I should have only tea, toast, rice, and things like that for a while. It's probably something I ate. What did you eat? Nothing much. I ate dinner at an all-you-can-eat buffet. I had seafood, then I had steak, and for dessert I had pudding followed by ice cream and chocolate fudge cake and... Oh, the thought of food makes me sick. That's a shame. I wanted to invite you to go out for dinner. Okay, my lovely students. So look now with me that what do we have? What does this phrase mean? I just did. Look here. I just, I just did. It uh, means I did that a short time ago. So if you did something, you will say, okay, I just did it. So I did that for for uh, a short time ago. Number two, look what do we have here? 
and things like that. So what does this phrase mean? It means uh, similar things, a way to give example without naming a lot of things. For example, you, you can say, okay, I eat uh, apple, I eat orange, I, I eat banana and uh, th uh, things like that. So you mean, for example, uh, 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 for example, strawberry or uh, bananas and so on. Then number three, look what do we have here? Nothing much, nothing much. What does it mean? Nothing much, it uh, means nothing a great amount. So it doesn't matter, nothing much, nothing a great amount. Then look what do we have here? We have here a part of the conversation. Number one, how does Pid feel? So what do you think? Look here. Very good. Look here, Pet. So I feel terrible. So the answer uh, will be he feels terrible. Number two, what is wrong with him? So what do you think? Look here. I have a stomach ache and I have uh, I feel like vomiting. Okay. Look here. He has a stomach ache and he uh, he feels like vomiting. Number three. What advice did the doctor give to him? So what do you think? Very good. He gave him so a prescription of medicine and said uh, uh, and said uh, to him that uh, he has uh, he has uh, or he should uh, drink tea and toast and rice and things like that. Okay. The number four. What did Omar want to do? Okay. Look here. Actually, he wanted to invite uh, Bid to uh, out. So he wanted to invite Bid to go out for a dinner. Okay, very good. So let's now move to the next page here. So look what do we have here, my lovely students. Okay. Okay, look what do we have here. We have here reading, reading. Okay. So what can you see here? Look, we have a see here, honey. Lemon, lemon, tea, very good, very good. Look here, achoo, it's, uh, is it cold or the flu? Very good, so how many paragraphs do we have? Very good, we have a one, two, three, four. We have a four paragraphs, okay, my lovely students. Now I will read, uh, sorry, I will turn on the audio. So I want you to listen and follow it along as you listen. So are you ready? Very good. So let's start. Page 69. Eight. Reading. At two. Is it a cold or the flu? When your nose is blocked... Your eyes are watery, your throat is sore, you are coughing and sneezing constantly, and you are shivering, then you have influenza, or the flu. Or is it just a common cold? The symptoms of both a cold and the flu are very similar, and very often the two illnesses are confused. People get both illnesses in more or less the same way. A person sneezing or coughing transmits the infection through the air. Sometimes people with the virus wipe their noses or eyes with their fingers and then touch objects around them, such as a doorknob, a telephone, a keyboard, or any other everyday object. Other people come into contact with these items with viruses on them and pick up the viruses that way. Colds usually last for five to seven days and are caused by viruses. The body's own defense mechanisms need to fight the viruses. Unfortunately, there are more than 80 different constantly mutating rhinoviruses, so vaccination against colds is impossible. Medicines provide temporary relief from symptoms, but they cannot cure the cold. The flu has the same symptoms as the traditional cold. Additional symptoms are a high fever and severe muscle aches and pains. The effects of the flu can also be far more serious. It can cause pneumonia and kill its victims. 
In the past, the flu killed more people than any other viral disease. For example, 20 million people of all ages died in the 1919 flu epidemic. It actually affected younger people more than old because their bodies didn't have defenses against the virus. Nowadays, there are vaccines for the flu that protect from some viruses. Unfortunately, new viruses appear all the time. Okay, my lovely students, now we can differentiate between cold and flu. So look, what do we have here after reading? Write three things that are the same about colds and flu. So we have here, actually. Okay, the answer is here. Okay, so your nose is blocked, your eyes are watery, and your throat is sore. Very good. Number two, how is the flu different from cold? So how can you differentiate between them? Look here, actually, the answer is here. Okay. When uh, people, when people have the flu, they can have high fever and server mesicles and pains. Okay. So actually, we are right done, my lovely students. So thank you so much and have a nice day.